Hello and welcome to a new video and in this video we're gonna stop endless jump of the character because at the moment I'm basically flying when I'm pressing jump multiple times even though jump called only once when I press the button. So how can we do that? We need to make a condition for a jump. We need to make sure that you can jump only when you are on the ground and how you make sure you're on the ground. You can do that with a collision detection. Collision detection allows you to basically detect what you collide with right and you can use it in different ways first of all we need to take platform over here go to layer and add layer ground okay now let's select platform set to ground and we can see now that this platform indeed is a ground it can be recognized as a ground and now we need to take player and detect where is ground to know that we can jump only if we're touching it I think I already explained a bit. Let's go to the script and here we want to type public load ground check radius and now let's leave it at that and go all the way down here and type on draw gizmos. So we're gonna type gizmos draw wire sphere. All right. This is better. So as you can see, it explains draws a wireframe sphere with the center and radius. So center tells from where we're gonna draw and radius tells like what the radius is. So let's type here transform position as a center and ground check radius as the radius. And let's go back and you'll see what this function does. This gizmos, this function draws a gizmos that allows you to visualize anything you want in the scene window. So now if I increase my ground check radius, you can see a circle appearing there. And that will be our check for the ground. So how are we gonna do it? Now we need to place this check at the feet of the character so it checks only what is below and not what is around. Because otherwise we would detect other things that we don't need to detect. So what I'm gonna do here is create empty and I'm gonna call it ground check this is the ground check now and this ground check has a transform and we can use this transform to set position of the ground check radius so let's go back and make a variable public transform ground check and that's it and then we can go all the way down here instead of transform position we're going to type ground check position let's go back to unity now and try something we're gonna drag ground check to the field over here and now by using this ground check we can move the circle around and what I want to do is to place it at the feet of the character and it's kind of difficult to see because character is white so I'm gonna change color to something else you know maybe like so okay and before we continue, I want to say thanks to all of my Patreons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy, Steven and Gennady, Chen Son, and Retrobat Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. So now let's take these and change ground check to something small, maybe 0 0.15, or let's try 0.2, I think this is okay. And we can place it at the feet of the character. Now it works like so. But having ground check and having ground check visible does not actually detect anything. To make a detection, we need to make a function. So what we're going to do here is to make a function collision checks. Let's do it. Private void collision checks. And inside, we need to make functionality for that check. What we can do is to make a boolean. And if you never heard of boolean before, let me just say that boolean can have two states true or false and that's all what we need from it so i'm gonna do bool ground detected and it will tell us if ground is detected or not now we need to say in what cases it's going to be true so we're gonna type here ground detected equals to physics 2d overlap circle now we need a center point for this check so we're gonna type ground check position and for the radius, ground check radius. Now, having it like so will not do anything for us. First of all, you can see function is not highlighted. It means it is not called anywhere. So we need to call it to make sure it's working all the time. And to make it work all the time, you're right, we need to call it in the update. So let's go here and do collision 
checks. Now it will be called and it will check collision all the time. Although we have some misbehavior at the moment. We need to add here a layer that will tell us we're detecting only ground and ground only. But before we do that, let's see what happens if we don't. You can see I have a ground detected boolean uh, open and we can see it. And now I'm going to go to play mode and it says ground detected. And indeed we are on the ground. But if I take my player and move it up, ground is still detected. So it's happening because this check detecting the player as well. So let's try to avoid it. And we can do that by creating a variable of a layer. Let's go here and type public layer mask what is ground. Now we're going to use this variable over here. We're going to type comma what is ground as a layer mask. And let's go and try again. We're going to go back to Unity. I'm going to choose what is ground, ground. And just let's make sure platform has the layer of a ground here. And now we can try this. I'm going to go to play mode. And we can see ground is detected. And if I take my player away from the platform, ground is not detected anymore. So in this way, we're detecting only what is set to layer of a ground. And this will help us to jump when we want to. Let's go back to code now to the jump function. And over here, we're going to type if ground detected, then we jump. Simple as that. Let's go and try it now. I'm jumping and I can jump only from a ground, which is kind of perfect for us. Okay, now I think we all can agree that this looks a bit messy and quite difficult to read what we have here. So I want to make it a bit cleaner and for this now, I'm going to make it as a small window and we're going to do some changes and you'll see what it does. First of all, let's make here a header and I'm going to name this as collision check. Let's save it and see it in the inspector now. And now we have a beautiful collision check line that serves as a, a bit of a, you know, like a separation from this one. It makes it easier to read. Now, what else we can do here is, first of all, make all of them private and serialized field. This will do better for us. So let's go and type here serialized field private. Let's do same for ground check. Serialized field private. And we're going to move this above. And I'm going to use hotkey. I'm holding alt and pressing arrow up to switch it like so. Really convenient. Yeah, you can move it down or you can move it up. Now let's make it as well serialized field private and this boolean we actually can just hide. I want it to be visible so you can see how it works but as of now we know it is detecting the ground so we can make it private like so and I think we can change the name for this that will suit better. I want to have something like is grounded. The deal is to change name all across the script even now would be troublesome. We have three variables and I would have to go is grounded then i would have to go here and change it and imagine you have a variable that is used across like rpg game you have 50 times this variable used what you can do you can do something you can click ctrl r r to rename all across the script and i'm gonna do this is grounded now and it was changed everywhere oh it was not what the hell okay let me see. Ah, oh, because I had it misspelled. Okay, let's try again. Control R R, rename all is grounded. And changed here as well. Is grounded, is grounded. Which has a bit better meaning, I guess. Let me see if there is another hotkey just in case. Can we find it? Yeah, there it is. Rename. So if you so if your hotkey doesn't work, you can click right button and choose rename over here. All right? Good. Now let's save it and go to inspector again. This looks a bit better and cleaner, I guess. All right. And actually, I like to have my ground check above the radius. So I'm going to change this one like so. And also, you can see this one is a bit messy. Like this one has a space and this one is next to square brackets. And you could fix it manually. But if you don't want to, you can go here and click this icon run code cleanup. And it will do it for you everywhere. 
All right, and uh, now we have character jumping with a collision detection and he jumps only from a ground. We have a bit more functionality here. And I guess thanks for watching. Rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly. Subscribe not to miss that. Check my website for more courses. Ask your questions in the comments below. And remember, we don't play games. We make them.